Russet chef owner Andrew Wood has put his chunky sweet potato soup on the menu every winter since the restaurant opened in 2012. We have very, very good response to it, but it's mostly on the menu because I like it. <laughs> it features loads of sage and big chunks of bacon. It's my favorite bacon in the whole world. The hogs are raised on a Lancaster County farm. The meat smoked in a monastery in upstate New York. Monks that have been smoking meat for a very long time. It's very slow diffusal of smoke that makes much more deeply flavored bacon. To better infuse the flavors, Chef Andrew stews the ingredients in a whole lot of butter and then tops each bowl with grated cheese. It's very hearty and chunky. It eats like a meal. What's the go-to soup here at Oyster House? That's a loaded question. At Oyster House, soup is always on. Almost everybody gets soup at this time of year especially. Chef Aaron Gottesman delivers with a riff on fish chowder. That's the sound. With onions, leeks, and celery sweated down stovetop, then seasoned with thyme and bay leaves. Kind of get the flavors going together. Yep. There's no flour and butter for a roux, just potatoes, fish fume. It's warm, be careful, we fish just made that. Fish fume, yep. like It's smoke. basically just like a fish stock. And heavy cream. Oh, this is going to be a good soup. The broth simmers for more than an hour before the smoked and steamed cod goes in. Oh, wow, this looks good. And it tastes as good as it looks. I'm going in for more. By all means. Mm. Our next stop, Good Dog Bar on 15th Street in Center City, where executive chef Carolyn Angle scratch makes her shellfish stew. Sort of a take on a bouillabaisse. base. Chef Carolyn was a leader in the city's gastro pub movement. I'll sweat this a little bit. And spent years perfecting her recipe a soup seasoned with tasso ham, lots of fresh herbs, hot pepper flakes, and her homemade saffron tomato sherry broth. I like spicy foods and quick, simply steamed, flavorful shellfish. This one has clams, mussels, and shrimp. It's all starting to steam, the mussels are opening. Served with fresh toasted bread, it's made to be a meal. It's really about the bread <laughs> and dipping the bread in it, kneading the broth, and then I ask for more bread. Head to Southgate and Graduate Hospital, and you can sample a traditional Korean braised beef stew. This is Kaibi Jim. It's made with short ribs. Seared to lock in the juices, then slow cooked with a pot full of winter vegetables. This is a labor of love, definitely. And a favorite dish for Chef Daniel Ahn growing up. It's more of like a special occasion, sometime dish that I really love. Christmas, New Year's, birthdays. Or any winter day at Southgate. The short rib, when it's cooked right, is very tender. Definitely comfort style food. Bud in Maryland's in Midtown is known for its signature Maryland's fried chicken dish. We have so much chicken left over. I mean, who doesn't like matzo soup, right? But this is not your grandma's matzo soup. This is the schmaltz. Chef Evan Turney makes a three ounce ball that he soaks overnight. So all the fat and everything collects to the matzo ball. Swelling the matzo to monster size. When they first see it, they're just in awe of the size of the matzo ball. The chef elevates the soup with slow roasted heirloom carrots from a local farm and big chunks of roasted chicken. It's perfect for this weather. I love it. Next up, we're hopping in our Ford Explorer and heading down to South Philadelphia, an East Pashank restaurant serving up a classic French onion soup. Well, it's cold outside. It's nice to warm up with party soup. Fond chef owner Lee Steyer's French onion soup has just three ingredients. White onion, white chicken stock, and white wine. Keeping the cooking simple is his signature with a focus on classic technique and high-quality ingredients. About three to four hours to get the onions nice and caramelized. The soup simmers for another hour or two, and each cup is then topped with a perfectly sized round of toasted brioche bread piled high with shredded Gruyere cheese. I'm just going to pop this in the oven for a minute. One minute will be ready. He caramelizes the cheese on top, creating the perfect remedy for a cold, wintry day. All the sweetness comes from the onions. You have the cheese and the toasted brioche for richness. So it's like an entire meal in one bite.